What's going on everybody and welcome to episode 4 of our MLS League of Legends career mode so with the Houston Dynamo. I hope you've all had a fantastic Easter and hopefully one on a bit of extra time off school, off work, whatever it is that you do with the bank holiday and I hope you've had a fantastic extended weekend. Episode 4 we are taking on the Vancouver Whitecaps in what is... Again, it's confusing me a little bit, to be honest. Um, their two legends are the Robin Van Persie and Thiago Mata, but um, they're not actually in our half of the conference, and I didn't think you played teams that were in the other side of the conference, so clearly my grasp on the MLS is just absolutely awful. You can see Vancouver Whitecaps had a solid start on their, uh, their side of the conference, the Western Conference, in fourth place, five points after three games. Not too bad at all. Like I said, they've got Van Persie and Mata. Uh, one thing I will say, we had a comment on the last uh, video saying that we have someone in... Um, out on loan called Eric Torres that is apparently worth recalling so we are going to go and do that now I have just looked at him just actually look quite promising and hopefully we'll be able to play him in today's game because he's worth 2 million only 21 and a 73 overall he is probably going to be our main striker so thank you very much for that comment letting us know we are going to record him for 275,000 pounds hopefully now we can just slot him straight into the team ahead of Bruin who hasn't had a fantastic starter Giles Barnes came off the bench to score in the last game which is pretty cool but Bruin has been very very hit and miss at best so Eric Torres is going to slide straight in there into the striker position Robinson on the right of course and Perla holding down the middle I'd like to say I didn't think you played teams that were in the other half of the conferences if that makes sense like because we're in the um the eastern I believe that's right yeah we're in the eastern look we're third having a good start could go top of a winter down goal difference and, uh, of course, Vancouver, being in Vancouver, is in the Western Conference. So, I didn't think you played anyone at all in the Western Conference. But it seems that you do. Someone's going to have to explain this down in the comments to me because I really have not got a freaking clue. But, like I say, if we win this game, we can go level top. It will be a huge win, especially after we absolutely smash Montreal Impact. We're still top of our uh, our conference because they uh, won their other game. They played four, though. It's crazy how the games are all over the place as far as... Um, Hey, who's played how many, because Impact applied fourth, New York City have only played two, we've only played two, Chicago played three, it's just all over the shop, but um, hopefully we can go into this game against the Whitecaps, get ourselves three points, go level top of the table at least, and uh, yeah, continue this total charge, so Vancouver Whitecaps, we are away, it's our first game away from home as well, I think, let's hope we can smash it, here we go. So there's the Vancouver Whitecaps line. You can see Motta holding down a CDM position with Van Persie starting up top. We're playing at the BC Plus Stadium, which is a pretty nice stadium. I don't know if that's Whitecaps Stadium in real life or it's just what FIFA's thrown them into, but it's a really nice stadium. They've got the bigger screen thing going on in the centre and it looks absolutely huge. Look at that really, really nice stadium. There's our lineup. As you know, we are playing Robin on the right as ever and Perla holding down a centre mid spot. Ricardo Clark playing well in centre mid and Eric Torres making his debut after recording him on loan up top. Hopefully we can play like we did against the impact and pick up another three points here, but it's going to be tough, especially away from home. Here's the kickoff. Here we go. Look at that run as well. Can we flip this on, Torres? Oh, we have. I don't know how. Oh, Robin couldn't go get there. We won't get on that, though. Oh, no way. That was mental. I don't know how that quite fell for Lopez, but we couldn't get the shot away. Taylor to Beasley, who's been solid for us so far. Plays it to Perlo. Nicely just rolled through there. Perlo's continued his run as well. Andrea Perlo, can he get his first goal? Oh, it's a good save. Cheeky little back heel. Motta, and another one. And the move is flowing now for Vancouver. Oh, Van Persie's in. God damn it, he's not going to miss from there. We go 1-0 down just before half-time. The Robin Van Persie for the Vancouver Whitecaps. On his weak right foot as well. I didn't think he'd get it in purely because we'd shown him onto his right. But it was poor defending from me. And nice that they move a couple of back heels in there. And he finishes it at the near post. Derek nowhere near it. And you can't give RVP that much space. 1-0 down just before half-time. God damn it. Lopez, lots of space up top. as a shame. He seems to be getting something going there. But he blows for half-time. 1-0 down. The Robin Van Persie just before half-time. And what has been a pretty close tentative game. Not many efforts you can see. We've only had one. They've had no shots about any, which we all know is bullshit because Van Persie's just scored one. Eric Torres has looked decent up top. He's holding it up well. I'm not sure what foot he is. I want to know that. He's right footed, which is good. He's got the three-star skill moves. And he's not rapid, but he seems to have good agility, as you can see there. And he's pretty strong as well. So hopefully with him up front, we have got a bit more of a threat than we had with Bruin. But second half, we need to up our game and get back into this one. 1-0 one down. Hopefully we can turn it around. Morales. Oh, couldn't quite get a toe to it. They've got a chance. Oh, my God. That wasn't far off. First time from Van Persie, and uh, we are being warned here again. Plays it to Torres. Oh, he's been nicked off it there, god damn it. Oh, but he's got it back. He's got it back. Someone make a run penalty. No. Torres still going. Robin goes to Garcia. 
Come on, Tony Man, pull the trigger. Oh, it's a beautiful finish. Garcia, straight across the keeper. We're back in the game. Fantastic work from Torres. He lost it originally, but then won it back with pure determination. Robin plays it out wide to uh, Garcia. Look at this for a finish. I actually think their own defender might have gone in the way of the keeper there, but he dived the wrong way either way, and we are back at level. Fantastic stuff. Robin, Torres is carried on his run. What can we do? He did well from this side last time. Torres. Oh, he's been... His touch wasn't great there, though. He's doing well, though. He's playing Perlo on the edge. Can we check back? <gasps> we got lucky. We got lucky. Back to Perlo. Oh, no way. <gasps> what have I done? What have I done? No, they've sweated it as well. That is the ultimate slap in the face. Why did I pass it at all? We'll never know. But then to sweat it after... Wow, wow, wow. 2 1 down and only myself to blame. What an absolute moron I am. 2 1 bloody down now. They're so just going to keep the ball now. It's going to be pain in the arse. Although that. Oh, well won. Well won. Oh my god. Garcia, please. 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 Penalty! Harry's had another penalty. That is insane. I thought we were going to recover after my horrific error, but how oh, is that not a penalty? That is mental. Come on, ref. Let me have a break. Let me have a break. Robin, we're getting a break. This time it's Robin. He's not going to be caught. Ball roll. Dribble. Free kick. How is that not a free kick? What is this ref got against us? So there it is, lads. Full time. We do lose the game 2-1. Those of you that are familiar with my uh, Leicester City career mode will know I am prone to making that error every now and again when I pass it out with the keeper. And today we have paid the biggest price. 2-1 loss. We could have come back into it, though. I feel that goal see a chance should have been a penalty. A stone ball, Aaron. There you go. Games just don't go for you sometimes, but only myself to blame. Let's have a look what that has done to the Legend League table. But there's the Legends League table. You can see we are down in 6th place, but the table is extremely difficult to read at the moment because of the played uh, games being all over the place. If we do win, though, I do know that we can go level top. However, New York City could go above everyone else if they win their game in hand because they'll go into 9 points. Like I said, he's literally all over the shot right now. In the second division, the Western Conference, you can see Water Cups are having a good start. They've got 8 points after 4 games and they're in second place. So it's no shame losing to them, but I just wish I had to screwed up in that game because that was just annoying. If you do know how the MLS works more than me, please let me know down in the comments down below, by the way, because I really didn't think you played teams in the other conference, but clearly you do. And also, shout out to uh, the person who put the comments. I think it was Swagmaster again, the man that's a, uh, a Houston Dynamo fan himself that said about Eric Torres being recalled really because he was really good in that game. I think he's probably going to be our main strike from now on in this career mode. But um, that's going to bring the end of episode four. I hope you're all having a fantastic bank holiday Monday. Hopefully you have got time off work, school, whatever it is that you do in life. Hope you enjoyed the day. I will speak to you all in what is going to be my 200th video tomorrow, the final episode of the OP Alphabet, which is pretty crazy. I will speak to you all then. Nidge out.
What's going on everybody and welcome to episode 3 of our MLS League of Legends career mode save. Today we are moving on to our second game of the season officially now where we play